Yeah. <laughs> belly laugh and a long <laughs> silent pause. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the same with whether you're talking about sickness or guilt or innocence or whatever. But once again, w would it make sense that that there could be some brothers? that would have something and some that wouldn't, whether it's guilt or innocence, sickness, health, clarity, confusion. What about the awareness of any of that? I mean, because it's, al it's always all there. It's always been, right? But it's my awareness of it that seems to keep it apart from me, or unawareness of it. But that would be the wrong mind. In other words, where... Where is unawareness? Yeah. Has to be in the wrong mind. And what is this mind? I think that's what Dorothy is, is saying when she says... And at the same time, if, if clarity is something that I'm waiting for off somewhere in the future, how am I going to know when I have it? Is, are there degrees of it? Do I know I have a little bit of it, but not all of it? Or, you know, again, all I can know is what I feel right now. And it's not, you know, it's like David's question wasn't feeling, he didn't say, are you totally clear or are you partially clear or are you halfway clear or are you 75% clear? You know, it's like, are you clear? And, and the thing for me is always lasting. Or I mean, that's the, that's the thing that makes it real or true or authentic or not, is but, that it's lasting. But where is the lasting, too? I mean... Like now. Yeah. As long as it lasts right now. That's really all that matters is what you're saying, huh? So the whole idea of lasts is linear, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just so simple. I mean that's part of it is just when you boil it down to how am I feeling right now, it gets that's just so simple. The mind can the wrong mind will try to convert and but it's just just now. It it came to me that yesterday when Beverly and I went to the lake to see the lake, to see if there was ice on it still from the day before. And uh, she, she just said, it's so clear, it's so clear. And so I was asking what, what that could mean for Beverly. And uh, it was that, imagine that that's the mind, God's mind, and imagine it as a symbol and be in it, in the clear lake. And then what does it mean by being clear? Oh, yeah. Is it very still? Was there like a reflection from it without any kind of distortion? I wasn't really aware of reflection. just remember how easily I could see to the bottom of it. Like there's no obstructions to block your vision? And it just, it, it just came to me, it's like when I'm in that still place and I'm feeling clear, the obstructions that would have been blocking my vision are the fear or the resistance or the all the stuff that I'm not feeling in that moment. And God's not blocking it. He's not saying, well, sorry, but you haven't paid your dues yet. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen any blood, sweat, and tears coming out of me. <laughs> or at least not enough. <laughs> 
One of the fears that gets in the way for me is that this isn't going to last. And the very thought that this isn't going to last ends it. <laughs> 